And we're back, Gravel fans, for another edition of Ground Zero Wrestling Volume 24. How you like my Ken Walton, Cloudy? Cheech, you're gonna make fun of my announcer voice. You loved it! You're gonna come in with that, but come okay. On. Classic world of sport. You know, this match, obviously, you know. No, definitely not. This is gonna be a <laughs> good old fashioned tag match. There you oh, go. Oh, no, definitely, trust me. I think we're gonna see too much technical wrestling. I mean, we've got I don't know Iron how... Gunning versus Black and Yellow. You know what it is. And here we are. There's the bell, and we're off, and we have Corey representing Black and Yellow, and. Brute Van Slyke on the other end, the big man. Like, he has it, he's so big, he has his own gravitational pull. Yeah, look, it's gonna pull Ting into the ring, look at this. See, Ting can't resist it. But, I think what he tastes is a couple ham hocks. I appreciate the, uh, the, head. the Ooh, courage, the intelligence, the... I was Ting, Ting really wanted into the ring right now. In theory, we had both big members of the team. <laughs> okay. But Ting said no. I'm the biggest guy. And no. I guess. I told you he wasn't going to like it once he got a taste. He, he is definitely regretting wanting that tag very quickly into this contest. I mean, hired gun, don't miss. It doesn't put him down. He's still he's what? still standing. That's uh, I will say impressive nonetheless. I, I give that more to the turnbuckles. <laughs> <laughs> See, look how easily he got put down. I don't know what Ting can do to turn the tide in this matchup right here. The confidence still just oozing. Brute on the other hand, not even had to turn in the hip. That was all just upper body, just shoving it. Another up. strong lockup. And okay, see that one he put a little oomph into? He was trying. He put his effort. Don't get me wrong. And now, here, here now Corey's back in the ring. Now we're getting the bigger member of black and yellow in there. Here we go. Let's see if he stands any better chance. Hopefully he's not just the bigger. Hopefully he's the smarter member. Oh, it, it looks oh. like, and it looks like he is. Not going for those collar elbows. Now, do you think he would have done this, or he's just learning from his partner's mistake? Oh. Nope. Now he's truly learning. No, nope, he's just as dumb. Oh, oh big headbutt. But sending him right back into his own corner. Oh, I think he'll he'll eat them one by one, chop by chop all day. And I I don't believe Ting tagged in, but they're gonna try to two on one, and the refs counting him out. I don't know. I Goes for a big special. double clothesline. Yep, double his pleasure, double his fun. Oh. Seems like a foolish move by Thomas Kennedy there, tagging himself in. And it does prove. See, he, wanted to, he wanted to change things up. Still two members of black and yellow in the ring yeah, right now. Get them out. He's got to get order going here. Yeah, referee. Oh, the disrespect. The disrespect. And order has returned. Brute slapped him away like Godzilla slapping away biplanes on the Empire State Building. Did you get that visual? I get it. It's pretty good. It's impressive. And now uh, Black and Yellow has uh, isolated Thomas Kennedy. Here we go, setting him up. Oh, A little miscommunication, but they do get to where they were looking. Oh, big back senton. Tate is the biggest, but he landed every ounce of that one. Gouache in real life out of Thomas Kennedy there, but still manages to kick out. I think I saw the soul leave his body. And they're cutting off the ring. Great tag wrestling from Black and Yellow. Isolating, not, not letting him get anywhere near. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ting thinks twice, but goes on the second time. And just going back and forth, not not letting count. Oh, big gourd buster. Buck Wild had not, yeah, had had enough. And, and now business is about to pick up. Big gut wrench to stop him. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think they're going to try, they're going to return that sent on possibly with a little more oomph this time. Oh, oh no, big double splash. Count it, so much count weight it. coming down. Oh, somehow, I somehow Ting managed to get a shoulder up. Ting might have internal bleeding. That's 
my prediction, internal bleeding. <laughs> you took the now. words right out of my mouth, Cheech. And just working on that all over the place, I guess. I'm just saying, if there's, if there's a murder and we needed fingerprints for Brute, we could get it off Tin's chest. <laughs> Slam him like a sack of potatoes that he would cut up in julienne later in the fries. <laughs> the disregard for his partner. Ting somehow still kicking out after I can only imagine what is going on Look in those turns. He's getting up to his knees. Look at him. Somehow it's firing him up. Some guys it has that effect. He's got fight in him, that is for sure. Oh, there we go. TK not getting paid by the hour. A man of efficiency. Still only a two, which is just impressive coming out of Ting, just being able to get those shoulders up. What's it going to take to put him down? I, I, I'm scared to find out. <laughs> no, thank you, sir. I don't know if Ting owes brute money or, or what, but... He's certainly taking him to task. I have a bit of a riddle for you, Cloudy. What's black and yellow and red all over? Ah, that was a good one. Oh. Big discus punch. I don't know if he can get up from that one. I mean, the jabs are... Oh. I what? can't tell if he's out on his... Well, not on his feet necessarily, but... Honestly... Instincts are just taking over. If he knows where he is, I'm surprised. Big headbutt to the chest. Big. If that's not it, I don't know what is. I have absolutely no idea how that just happened. Dear referee, you're lying. All right, it's official. Tim has no insights. I can't. He can't possibly at this point. He's a symbiote. He's like Gumby. But still, just putting up a fight. But no, 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 no. Brute not having it. Ah, Insiguri. Got all the way up there. That is a second Insiguri. Reeling. There we go. Finally the tags reeling. out. Let's see if Corey can get the job done. Smart on TK. So his partner reeling. Ooh, he's not faring too much better though. Pair of Polish hammers and tosses him. Ready now. He's been stuck in that corner for way too long. He's been watching his partner take take so much punishment that he's looking to return the favor. What a thud across the face with that jumping into Gurry. Yeah, TK, don't turn over. Don't turn over. You don't want what's behind you. Corey just waiting. Eyeing him up. What's up on the shoulders. Maybe took a little too much time there. Yeah, slight hesitation. Weaves through, jumping knee, jumbo style. Going to that fireman's carry again. Oh, oh cradle okay. shot. Hill horror. How dare you? It's a Chris Cheney move, not a Chris Saban move. Okay, I apologize. The legs weren't hooked, thank you very much. But luckily, Brute breaks up the win, oh, takes a jawbreaker. Super kick from Ting, still on his feet. Second super kick right to the nose. Taking out the legs. Upstairs now, downstairs, back upstairs. And they finally put the big man down. Ting still on his feet, just An impressively. Oh no. But they collide. They're isolated. Not gonna look Couple right good. hands. Ting's taking too much damage. Set him up for. Big spine buster. Picked him up and put him down. Big spear coming from Corey. If those boots weren't tied so tight, he'd be out of them. I'm not sure. It looks like Corey and TK are the legal men. Hey, Tag. Again, and I don't know. King's taking such big, a beating. Big top rope. What are we going for? Oh, hits a splash. 
is Isaiah Ryder. But after all of that damage to his insides, I can't imagine that that splash felt good on his end either. And then he took a turn up to the insides. Big discus lariat Bruce from Bruce. Bruce handling business now. He, I think he's done with all these shenanigans by Black and Yellow. Oh no, they got some more shenanigans in them. Tings looking to even the odds, perhaps. Bandera to the apron. Big high kick. Measured him for that one. Trying to even up the odds going to the middle rope. Right into the giant shoulder of Bruce. Man, Spike. He's got him really. I think this is his best chance. He's the only man standing. There we go. Yeah, get your partner. Ting finally looks the worst for wear after all of the damage he's been taking in this matchup. Oh, we've seen this before from Hired Gun. Going up top. And they don't And that's miss. gotta be the finish. And that's the three count, there it is. Hired Gun Inc. with a decisive victory over Black and Yellow. here at Ground Zero. I don't know who Layla James thinks she is. Once again, Malcolm a gentleman. A firefighter. A freedom fighter. Oh, strong lockup. And a, quite an in-ring fighter. We've seen him battle big. We've seen him battle small. Usually big. Today, Layla not again, having you know, any of that headlock. On, on the, the smaller side of the matchup, but uh, I don't know. I think... Uh, Off the ropes. Oh, big shoulder tackle. What, uh, the size difference, once again, is not in his favor, but uh, he's resilient. Drop down, under the leapfrog. Oh, it is fast hip toss. Oh, arm drag sends Layla outside of the ring. He said, welcome to Brown Zero, Layla. Layla said, time out, she wants a breather. There we go, look at him, once again. Graciously lets her back in the ring. Oh, look at her. How dare she? What? Glancing drop kick from Malcolm. He tried to play nice. Oh. oh, and she is not playing nice. Strong knee to the bread basket. Just throws him to the mat. I was going to say, forcefully controlling him. And going to the choke. That is not the way to win a match. I was going to say, referee Jess going to need to, you know, Throw her weight around in here. Ooh, working the body, I like it. Not just a headhunter, and a snap mare of snap mares. Oh, big right hand from the ground. He didn't like that snap mare. Oh, there we go, she takes it back with a knee to the chops. But once again, oh, she needs to be careful. See, she doesn't know what she's messing with. This man's been tested. Uh-oh. Going for a sidewalk. Oh! Driving him to the mat with that powerful side slam. Only two, though. Layla is in control. I'm telling you, I think Malcolm's just been caught off guard. A newcomer to the ground zero. I don't know if he was quite prepared. You always got to be prepared. Oh, Layla manhandling him. You heard me. Oh, a little style with the violence. Oh! Big back elbow in the corner. Uh-oh, it does not look like Malcolm's in a good place. Oh! Cannonball! Cannonball and water was in the pool. Oh, working the hard man. Big shake, rattle, and roll. Only two. Trying to make the hunky top man proud. Trying for it again. My man's resilient. Can't keep a good man down. Frustrated. Layla is not having any of these two counts and just kind of losing her cool, it seems. Big high insiguri. Oh, 
jaw jam, and here we go. Big shot and drop kick, sending Rail into the corner. Follows up with the European uppercut. Oh, back elbow to the jaw. And Right between the deltoids, that's got to be it. Only two. Maybe we got some resilience on Layla's part as well. Look, he's lining her up. Lining her up. She wants no part of it. Oh, she ain't. She will not give it to him. She's collapsing in the corner. I can't tell if that was... Was it just a bait? It was. Malcolm Calloway fell for her, but no. Oh, up on the shoulders. Oh, big TKO. And that's got to be three. And it is. Big victory. Two in a row from Malcolm Calloway. Very impressive today on Ground Zero. Siesta Mark House versus Sear and Rain, the Hope Dealer himself. Cloudy, who do you got in this one? I don't know who Mark House thinks he is pushing around Sarah and Rain like he's a big bully or something. Uh, oh, please. He thinks after his little sojourn from the ring that he's back and better than ever, but uh, I disagree, and I think Siren will as well. Strong lock up into the corner, Mark House showing maybe he has come to play tonight. Oh, typical house. <laughs> typical hope dealer. Big boo, big knee. Big forehead kick there. Has him staggered. Big back body drop. Those chops of the inner thigh might be a little grazing. The ref might want to check the location of those to be fair, but oh, interesting Sarah, offense for sure. Sarah's a man of, uh, you know. Oh, in a low throw in honor of his trainer. Yes, Lope would be proud, young child. Diving cannibal off the apron. An homage to his trainer, if you will. Setting Mark House back in, trying to Take the opportunity. Speed, baby, you got him. I see you. Too fast for him. Oh. Oh, wow. I'm just saying. The air, the deposit, and then the senton. Ooh. I think Saren may have lost his footing a little bit after that pass by, which led to Mark House being able to toss him in the air. I'm surprised he loses lunch. Now it looks like he's got a trap hold. Just trying to wear him down. But this contest has been back and forth. No one man has really been able to stay on top. While I stand corrected, while Mark House gloats in the ring right now. And the man, myself, follically impaired. I don't like him pulling on the hair, all right? Sarah's a young boy. He's got a healthy forehead. Let him live. Finally connects with an elbow drop and then starts stomping the life. Oh, look at this. And just the disrespect. Putting a Malachi crunch on his forehead. Mark House just blatantly disre disregarding the referee's count. I think we'll have a Conan by the time he's done with him. Oh, now he's going to the midsection. I'm always a fan of this because not only does it, you know, hurt the midsection, it also affects the lungs, which affects the cardio. You can't breathe, you're screwed. Attacking the midsection is definitely. Got him huffing and puffing. And what's he going for? Talking some smack before he sends him off. Oh! Only a moment of respite. But Mark House is. not taking too kindly to that attempt at a comeback from Sarah Rain. Puts him right back down to the mat with that big clothesline. Oh, look at him. Go 
promoting these, promoting everyone to try and, you know, bring a little life to the series, but, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to pull a new speed, Mark. I'm sorry. Oh, see, now you left yourself open, though. Sends them all for a rolling forearm. Ooh, uh, Snap German. Ouch. Oh, uh, see, the German had so much hook, it brought Saren back to his feet, and he had a little bit of resilience left to throw a high knee. A moment of composure from Saren Rain evens the odds here. Both men trying to get back to their feet. As I was say, he's draped across that middle rope, still trying to find his equilibrium. Oh, look at him, he's still a little on his feet. Oh, Mark as well is a little out on his feet. Some rubbery legs. Flying burrito. Make a it second. Paint brushing him with that one. Goes to the legs. I'm just saying, strikes have been his favorite all day. Taking out both legs, trying to bring him down to his level. Better watch. Oh, shiny wizard in the medulla oblongata. And that might be it. Oh, he went deep in the medulla. If he had hooked that leg, maybe the outcome would have been a little different. But Mark House kicks out at two. Yep, it's going to take a little bit more to take this house down. He's huffed and he's puffed. Jawbreaker. Oh, schoolboy. Oh, nope, to it. Through. DDT roll through up to his feet. He's stringing them together, folks. Yeah. Oh. Big twisting suplex there. Somehow only two, though, after stringing that impressive combination of moves together. Not a strong kick out, but a kick out nonetheless. And what's it going to take to put Saren Reigns away? Mark House, I don't know what else he has left in the tank. And I can see him. That mind is doing some math. He's Might be going out. for that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Saren Reigns to his feet. Not quite. Oh. Well, too much oomph on that one. Ducks the clothesline. Oh. And there's that variation of the back suplex neck breaker. I've seen... Oh! I've seen Mark House put many men away with that very maneuver, but somehow Sarah Rain able to kick out a two. Now, what do you think he's going to have to do? Because I don't know if he's got many more tricks up his sleeve. I don't know if Mark's got something bigger. Does he go for another? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let's see what he's got lined up to follow up his finish. Oh. Saren Rain with the evade. Scaling the ropes. Oh, big stunner. That could be it. Deep hook. Oh, yeah. And Saren Rain gets the victory out of the blue with that rope walk. Big stunner combination on Mark House. And there's your winner, Saren Rain.